dear students please note down the pdf file of all these notes have been uploaded in the description of video lecture please download your notes dear students in today's lecture we will discuss pulmonary respiration in frog dear students the respiration through lungs as we know in case of frog three modes of respiration cutaneous respiration via skin second mode of respiration that is lining of buccopharyngeal cavity and in today's lecture we will discuss third mode of respiration that is lung respiration it is pulmonary respiration in case of frog two modes of respiration which are very common in normal conditions frog respires through cutaneous respiration as well as the lining of buccopharyngeal cavity and third mode that is pulmonary respiration respiration through lungs it is less efficient and generally frog respires through lungs when more requirement of oxygen metabolic rate is very high more consumption of oxygen at that time frog respires through lungs otherwise in normal conditions the frog respires through skin cutaneous respiration and second mode that that is very common in case of frog whether the animal partially immersed in water or the animal on land via the lining of buccopharyngeal cavity in today's lecture we will discuss pulmonary respiration because in our last lecture we have discussed both modes of respiration cutaneous as well as buccopharyngeal lining mode of respiration in today's lecture we will cover pulmonary respiration dear students this pulmonary respiration it involves following parts a pair of external nares nostrils a pair of nasal chambers or olfactory sacs a pair of internal nares internal nostrils and dear students this enlarged that is a common cavity buccal cavity plus pharyngeal region this is buccopharyngeal cavity and the most important part in today's lecture that is involvement of lungs these are respiratory organs of frog this is the structure of lungs of frog this one is it is glottis that is the opening of laryngotracheal chamber very important very important topic in today's lecture that is laryngotracheal chamber in case of frog dear students this is sound producing organ of frog laryngotracheal chamber this laryngotracheal chamber this sound producing organ that is present between the posterior cornua of this hyoid apparatus and this laryngotracheal chamber it is well supported by three cartilages a pair of arytenoid cartilages and one this large cartilage it is cricoid cartilages three cartilages a pair of arytenoid cartilages and one cricoid cartilage it means this laryngotracheal chamber is well supported by cartilages three cartilages and internally this laryngotracheal chamber consists of a pair of vocal cords and these vocal cords are membranous structures between these vocal cords a passage an aperture is there that is rima glottidis at the time of sound production both vocal cords come close to each other 
they become almost parallel vibration set as well as in case of male frog instead of these a pair of vocal cords the sound producing organs the sound producing membranes a pair of additional vocal sacs are present in male frog which are present in buccopharyngeal cavity already discussed in our digestive system in the digestive system of frog we have already discussed the vocal sacs in case of male frog it means in case of male frog a pair of additional vocal sacs which act as resonators it means in case of male frog the croaking is much louder as compared to female because in case of female this laryngotracheal chamber consists of only a pair of membranous vocal cords no additional vocal sacs as in case of male frog that's why croaking of male frog is much louder as compared to female frog this is all about very important structure laryngotracheal chamber and posteriorly this laryngotracheal chamber opens into the bronchi which lead into the lungs and in the lungs of frog these are numerous alveoli are present the wall of each lung that is covered by three coats this outer coat is it is visceral peritoneum or it is pleural this middle coat is it is made up of connective tissue having blood vessels and this inner lining is this is simple inner epithelium and in the center of each lung a cavity lumen is there this entire pulmonary respiration in case of frog is divided into three steps first is inspiration second is first is aspiration second is inspiration and dear students third step is expiration first step is aspiration a s p i r a t i o n aspiration this pulmonary respiration involves alternate lowering and raising of throat or buccal cavity it means in this mechanism two sets of muscles this one is petrohyal muscle these are expiratory muscles and these sternohyal muscles these are inspiratory muscles which contract and relax alternately at the time of aspiration it involves passage of entry of fresh air from outside into this buccopharyngeal cavity dear students first step of pulmonary respiration that is aspiration means fresh air enters in this buccopharyngeal cavity this time the cavity size buccopharyngeal cavity that gets enlarged due to the contraction of these inspiratory muscles sternohyal muscles which contract while these petrohyal muscles are relaxed as a result this throat gets lowered the entire cavity becomes enlarged and the pressure inside this cavity that gets reduced as a result fresh air enters through the external nares nasal chambers internal nares and finally the air enters in this buccopharyngeal cavity this step is aspiration in this step the lungs remains contracted and the opening of these lungs it means the glottis that remains closed it means air 
enters in this buccopharyngeal cavity not into the lungs in the second step that is inspiration in this second step of lung respiration pulmonary respiration the air from this buccopharyngeal cavity that fresh air enters into the lung this time these inspiratory muscles are relaxed while the expiratory muscles patrohial muscles these muscles undergo contraction as a result this throat it is raised the cavity of this buccopharyngeal cavity that gets reduced pressure develops the external nares are closed and this aperture glottis it opens as a result the fresh air from this buccopharyngeal cavity enters into lungs this second step of lung respiration it is inspiration first step very clear i think that is aspiration from outside the air through external nares nasal chambers internal nares enter in this buccopharyngeal cavity that is aspiration and the second step that is that is inspiration this time air from this buccopharyngeal cavity enters into lungs it means this time glottis opens and the lungs they become inflated becomes elast and this during inspiration these external nares remain closed and the last step that is expiration it means foul air from the body from the lungs that is removed out this time expiration involves two steps in first step dear students note down this glottis opens the lungs contract it this entire buccopharyngeal cavity that becomes enlarged due to the contraction of these sternohyoid muscles but external nares remain closed this is first step and in second step of this expiration the glottis is closed this buccopharyngeal cavity is raised the size of this cavity gets reduced the pressure develops inside this buccopharyngeal cavity this aperture glottis is closed and the external nares is open as a result foul air that gets expelled this is all about pulmonary respiration dear students this is lung respiration which is less efficient and it occurs only when more metabolism more requirement of oxygen otherwise in normal conditions the frog the animal respires through cutaneous skin and buccopharyngeal lining this is because the lungs provide less surface area for gaseous exchanges as well as dear students this entire pulmonary respiration this one cycle and this cycle respiratory cycle through lungs that requires about 10 to 15 minutes that's why this process is very less less frequent poorly developed in case of frog this is all about respiration in case of frog cutaneous respiration through skin in normal conditions particularly during hibernation the animal respires through skin that is cutaneous respiration when the animal on water partially immersed as well as on land then this mode of respiration is very common very normal that is buccopharyngeal and when more requirement of oxygen at that time the pulmonary respiration takes place dear students in our next lecture means tomorrow we will discuss heart circulatory system of frog thank you